entrance and the dawn. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth in his presence of majesty and splendor, strength and honor in his holy place. Good morning. Mass today is being offered. The rest of us is St. Francis Xavier. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. A reading from the second book of Samuel. The Lord sent Nathan to David, and when he came to him, Nathan said, Judge this case for me. In a certain town there were two men, one rich, the other poor. The rich man had flocks and herds in great numbers, but the poor man had nothing at all except one little new lamb that he had bought. He nourished her, and she grew up with him and his children. She shared the little food he had, and drank from his cup, and slept in his bosom. She was like a daughter to him. Now the rich man received a visitor, but he would not take from his own flock and herds to prepare a meal for the wayfarer who had come to him. Instead, he took the poor man's new lamb and made a meal of it for his visitor. David grew very angry with that man and said to him, As the Lord lives, the man who has done this merits death. He shall restore the new lamb fourfold, because he has done this and has no pity. Then Nathan said to David, You are the man. Thus says the Lord God of Israel, The sword shall never depart from your house, because you have despised me, and you have taken the wife of Uriah to be your wife. Thus says the Lord, I will bring evil upon you out of your own house. I will take your wives while you live to see it, and will give them to your neighbor. He shall lie with your wives in broad daylight, you have done this in secret, but I will bring it about in the presence of all Israel and with the sun looking down. Then David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. Nathan answered David, The Lord on his part has forgiven your sin. You shall not die. But since you have utterly spurned the Lord by this deed, child born to you must surely die. Then Nathan returned to his house. 
the Lord struck the child that the wife of Uriah had born to David, and it became desperately ill. David besought the Lord for the child. He kept the fast, retiring for the night to lie on the ground, clothed in sackcloth. The elders of his house stood beside him, urging him to rise from the ground, but he would not, nor would he take food with them. The word of the Lord. Amen. Create a clean heart in me, O God. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Give me back the joy of your salvation, and a willing spirit sustained in me. I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall return to you. Free me from blood guilt, O oh my God, O oh my saving God. Then my tongue shall reveal in your justice, or revel in your justice. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. A violent squall came up and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was already filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke him and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet. Be still. The wind ceased and there was great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this whom even the wind and sea obey? The Gospel of the Lord. Remember one time I went deep sea fishing, and you have to drive way out into the Gulf, past the Gulf, and an hour drive at least out on the sea for three, four, maybe five hours, an hour drive back. When you get back on land, you feel like you're still rocking for most of the day. And I think this boat on the sea is really a great analogy for life, because we are often rocking. We often feel like we don't have our feet underneath us. We often feel like we're surrounded by great storms. And even when the water looks calm, underneath it's always moving. It's always something. It's always something affecting us. Right? The, the effects of our own sin, um, you know, have lasting impact on our lives. The way people sin against us, uh, even if we forget or forgive, there's still lasting impacts. The way our relationships are. Our, our life is like a sea. We're always rocking on that boat. That's the bad news. But the good news is that Jesus is on that boat. And I think there's something really telling about in today's gospel. I hadn't noticed this before. But it says that the disciples took Jesus onto the boat just as he was. And I think this is very telling 
of how he accepts them when they come to him, come to him just as they are, and how he accepts us just as we are, terrified, questioning him, saying, Lord, do you not care that we are perishing? Do you not care that we are losing trust? Do you not care that our faith is faltering? But he does care, and he calms the storm, he quiets it for them. He doesn't say, notice, contrast this to other times where those who didn't have faith, didn't know Jesus, he couldn't cure, he couldn't heal them. These were his disciples who knew him, who wanted to know him, wanted to love him, but they were lacking in faith. The storm was tossing them around. So too does it happen in our lives. So we recognize that our lives are always rocking, even when it may not seem it, but we take comfort in that Jesus is on that boat with us. He is always there to calm and quiet the storm, to say, I am with you. Do not be afraid. Gather together as children of God, we offer the following prayers. For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to stoke within her the fire of God's presence in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who for all who govern nations, may the Lord lead them toward decisions that bring about justice and peace for their people. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who are experiencing a crisis of faith, may God reveal his love and care to them. Let us pray to the Lord. For peace in our world, for the men and women of the armed forces, wherever they serve our nation, and for the safety of all first responders who serve our communities, let us pray to the Lord. For an increase in vocation to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. And for those intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. confidence and trust, we bring you these prayers and all the prayers that words cannot express. For we know that you hear them, walk with us in them, and answer them according to your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through goodness we have received the bread we know. The fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will we help our spiritual journey. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and duty may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, and we rejoice in commemorating the Mother of your Son. Grant, we pray, that through this most holy exchange, we may advance towards eternal redemption through Christ our Lord.
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things, and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you look on the loneliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices be pray joined with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
first Lord, we pray for every year. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who fall into the suffer from the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you stand in the garden. Help us in the name Communion Anthem, option two. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life.
Let us pray. Renewed with this heavenly food, we humbly implore you, Lord, that having received your Son, born of the tender virgin, under sacramental signs, we may profess him in words and hold fast to him in deeds, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord, be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Amen. St. Michael, we are you. Defend us now. We are our protection against the wickedness of sin. May God be with you when you come to pray. And do not allow the presence of that evil to come out of our